Hello everyone, welcome back to High School Mathematics channel. Today we are going to learn class 9, chapter 1, number system, exercise 1.2. See now exercise 1.2. First one, state whether the following statements are true or false. Justify your answers. See the first one. Every irrational number is a real number. Let us see the solution. The given statement is true because the set of real numbers consists of rational numbers and irrational numbers. So we can say every irrational number is a real number. See now first question second one. Every point on the number line is of the form square root of m where m is a natural number. Now let us see the solution. The given statement is false. For example, square root of 3 by 4 is a real number on the number line. But 3 by 4 is not a natural number. So we can say every point on the number line is of the form square root of m but m is not a natural number see now first question third one every real number is an irrational number now let us see the solution the given statement is false for example 1 by 2 is a rational number and hence it is real but it is not an irrational number. So we can say every real number is not an irrational number. See now question number 2. Are the square roots of all positive integers irrational? If not, give an example of the square root of a number that is a rational number. Now let us see the solution. The square roots of all positive integers are not irrational. See example, square root of 4 that is 2 and 2 is a rational number. Therefore, we can say the square roots of all positive integers are not irrational. See now, third question show how square root of 5 can be represented on the number line. Let us see the solution. We shall write 5 on the sum of 2 squares. So in the form we can write 5 equals to 2 square plus 1 square. 2 square means 4 plus 1 square means 1. So 4 plus 1 we get 5. This shows we need to construct a right triangle with the sides 2 and 1 units. So, the hypotenuse becomes square root of 5 units on the number line. Now, we shall proceed as follows. First, let us draw a number line and mark points 0, 1, 2 and 3. Now, on the number line take 2 units from O. So here we marked point O. From this O we had to mark 2 points on this number line. Now we have to represent this point as A. Now from A we shall draw the perpendicular and mark B such that AB equals to 1 unit. So what we shall do is from A, you take one unit and draw a perpendicular line like this. Next, with O as center and OB as radius. So, from O as center and we take OB radius and we shall draw an arc to cut the number line at C. So, we shall draw an arc like this on the number line. So it will touch a point and we call this point as C. Now C represents square root of 5. So this hypotenuse we mark it as square root of 5. So we had OA as 2 units 
and AB as one unit. In triangle OAB, so if you observe triangle OAB, OB square, see here OB square, that equals to OA square plus AB square. So we have written OB square equal to OA square plus AB square. So that equals to, we have taken already OA equals to 2. So OA square means 2 square plus AB means 1. So AB square means 1 square. 2 square means 4. 1 square means 1. So 4 plus 1 we get answer 5. So OB equals to square root of 5. So finally we got result OB equals to square root of 5. So in this way we have represented square root of 5 on the number line. So on this number line square root of 5 we have represented easily. Hope this video is useful to you. Thank you for watching.